it's me again, Cheryl, and today I'm gonna bring you my winter favorites. So let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna start with um, skincare because it's, I mean, I've only got one item, and it's, it's this Good Things Hand Moisturizer. Now, I discovered this brand recently. I bought this from local supermarket. It's the Manuka Honey Nourishing Hand Cream. And, well, in winter I get really dry hands, so I found this to be a lifesaver. Also, um, it has a, a really nice smell of, um, well, honey, I imagine, and shea butter. So, I mean, that's, that's always a winner for me. And that's the good things, hand moisturizer. On to um, hair favorites. Well, as you can probably tell, I don't usually do much with my hair. I'm not very good with the hair. But, um, I found these two things, which were very, very helpful to me when I needed to um, pull my hair out of my face, especially on windy days. They're these um, fabric and wire kind of hair bands which you just, I mean, you put them underneath your hair and you tie them up. I've got this one which is like a brown and paisley kind of print and then I've got the same thing but it has black and white stars. I got these off the New Look website and they were really inexpensive and really, really good. So next I'm going to be talking about nail polish. I've got a base, a top coat and an actual color. And this one is the Essence Nail Studio Ultra Strong Nail Hardener. I apply this whenever I'm going to uh, change up my nail polish, which is like once a week. Um, I remove my nail polish, I scrub my nails with a nail brush and warm soapy water just to get rid of all the flaky skin and then I apply this and it works because my nails are really brittle especially in the winter time but this seems to work really well and actually they are getting quite long which is <laughs> a rarity for me so I mean I think it's because of this and I would really recommend it to anyone who has brittle nails which are prone to peeling and just randomly um, breaking as mine do. Then I've got this um, also from Essence, this gel look plumping top coat. It's from their kind of like gel range which they've been coming out with recently. It does make them look like you've had them done at the nail salon, like really shiny and it does prevent chipping but I have yet to find a nail polish top coat which is like 100% chip proof. I mean this is an improvement on what they usually are, like my nails usually after like a day or two they'd start chipping. <sighs> I don't know what, what's, what I've got on my nails, it kind of repels nail polish, which is really annoying for me. But this makes them last like four days and then they will start chipping, but at least it's four days instead of two. Now for color, oh, it was so difficult to choose one. I very, very rarely leave the same color on for more than a week. I mean, I usually just leave it on for one week and then remove it and choose a totally different color according to my mood. But this one, I've worn the most during winter. It's a beautiful kind of burgundy purplish red. It's from It's Style. But you, I mean, you, you'll find other colors similar to this, even in the Catrice and Essence line, probably. They've got a great range of colors. I like this color because it's a deep berry shade. I was really into deep berry shades this winter. I'm gonna start with brushes. For base, I've been loving this brush. I bought it from the University of Malta Health Shop. I just I was looking for a good foundation brush because I I tried applying it with a sponge and I'm not so good with that. And 
I tried applying it with like I had a flat type of foundation brushes, the one that look the ones that look like this but are obviously bigger for foundation and that used to look like I literally grabbed a paint brush and just put it on with a paint brush, had the paint strokes and everything. I was like all Mona Lisa. Um, since it's quite dense and the shape of it, it's very easy to blend foundation with this brush. Um, as you can see, I mean, I'm still on the lookout for one that's a bit, you know, better. I mean, you do have to buff it in quite well. So I'm going to London soon and I'm thinking of buying the real techniques one from there. But this one, this one for the price, this was like maybe five euros. So for the price, it's really good. Next is this concealer brush from NYX. It's um, flat which is good for putting in concealer all over your face. It does what it's supposed to. It's a concealer brush and it's good to blend in concealer. My holy grail eye set have been this little mix and match. This one is what I put on my um, base shadow, like the shadow which is which would be all over the lid. This was from Essence. But I <laughs> I bought it quite a while ago and the name has rubbed off but um, yeah at the moment it's got some gold eyeshadow on it because <laughs> I used it to put my eyeshadow on before I started the video um, but yeah it looks like this it's basic flat shadow brush and I find it really easy to use this one I got from NYX and it's a kind of flat top fluffy brush this I use for the crease area because since it's quite fluffy it's easier to blend colors in and since it has a flat top it's good for you know like packing the color and then just blending it out it's the B13 eyeshadow brush and as I said it's from NYX I got it from Rosemary this one is also from NYX it's the B14 eyeshadow brush for shading but since it's so big and fluffy I usually use it for um, my under eye highlights and to blend the highlight with the eyeshadow. This last one is from a brand called Miss Makeup apparently. <laughs> and I had bought it um, about four years ago now from a pharmacy in Slema. It's actually very good. I use it to blend my um, eyeshadow in like all the whole perimeter I use that and it's dense and fluffy but it's not as big as this one because otherwise if I use this I'm afraid it might get all over my face this one is relatively small and much easier to um, handle I'm gonna go with um, makeup in order of how I apply it onto my face so um, I've got the NYX HD concealer and it's in number CW3 and to go with it I had tried to buy the NYX HD uh, found liquid foundation but they didn't have my winter color this is the all matte plus shine control makeup um, liquid foundation in the shade 020 nude beige as it says it's matte um, I like I prefer a matte finish foundation on my face I, I tend to like matte finishes as a whole over shiny or dewy finishes so this was very very good so those were my favorite base products um, for winter this is my favorite blush for winter the essence silky touch blush in the shade 10 adorable it's a nice kind of uh, pinky color not too pink very very natural looking I don't even think you can see it well yes it does show up slightly it's a very natural kind of pink and it's very long wearing blush and not chalky doesn't dry your face out and the color is just right for me it's not too bright um, so yeah my favorite blush um, until mid December I was using the Catrice eyebrow colored eyebrow gel then I bought the next one because I wanted to try something new 
and I bought this one and actually I'm really happy with this one it's the next tinted brow mascara in the color TBM 04 espresso it's got a mascara type wand I prefer to the Catrice one actually because it's smaller and easier to um, get into the corners here and the tip of the eyebrow the Catrice one sometimes used to um, since it was thicker and not tapered at the end it would um, kind of make this part too thick and I'd have to be like um, going over it with like a cotton bud or concealer to remove the extra boldness so I prefer the next one next I've got some eye products I've got two mascaras they're both from Essence they're both black this one is one I use every day is the Essence Maximum Definition Volume Mascara it's got a kind of plasticky type of wand and it's very defining it separates the lashes very well which I like for every day and this one is the Plump No Clump Volume Mascara this one I use for when I have special occasions because it makes the lashes look um, fuller the brushes itself is also quite um, big then I've got this eyeliner from Essence it's Essence eyeliner gel in a pen um, I've had this since last year um, but this year I've been using it more often it's kind of like my go-to instead of uh, black it's uh, the color is gunmetal it's a um, kind of like a dark gray kind of color and swatch it for you just to show you I like these because they're very pigmented they're, they glide on the eyes it's like you don't have to stay pulling and they're much easier to apply than an actual gel eyeliner like you don't have to stay using the brush and everything you just put this on it's great for the waterline which is where I use it the most in the lower waterline because they are uh, waterproof so they last very long the next eye product which I love I absolutely adore is this NYX jumbo eye pencil and it's absolutely beautiful I've had to sharpen it twice already that's how much I use it it's a gorgeous kind of well rust color as the name would suggest and it's a kind of purpley reddy browny kind of metallic color I love it um, I'm wearing it today as a base I basically just put it all over my eyelid then I blend it out with my ring finger and I'll apply the eyeshadows directly on top of it but these are so pigmented and so nice that even if you apply just a bit on the eyelid and that's it just some eyeliner and that would be enough it wouldn't look ugly at all I've got I've got like eight of them in total but this is my definite favorite because this one is so versatile and I love it now I've got a crap load of eyeshadows here I'm gonna start with the Catrice ones because they're the ones I've got least of I've got two um, Catrice eyeshadow colors um, this one is in the color Heidi Plum kind of aubergine color and I like using it mostly in the outer corner and crease to vamp up an eye look and today I use this underneath my lower lash line and this is it right there and this one is an olive color and it's called golden evergreen and that's it right there it's also a very very pretty color and I usually wear it with um, a kind of gold color all over my lid and then I put this on the outer corner and underneath my lash line and it would look really um, understated but at the same time still nice and wintry the next four eyeshadows I've got are all from NYX I've got three of the prismatic eyeshadows and 
one of the hot singles. So, um, this one of the hot singles, it's called Flustered, and it's an amazing, amazing, amazing cranberry red color. It's well, it's not matte, it's got a slight shimmer, but it's not as shimmery as the prismatic shadows. I've got this on today um, along the crease of my eye and outer corner. That's it, right there. So it's so pretty. Yep. Next, I've got this one, which is called Fireball. Dance break over, sorry. <laughs> and this one is, as I said, a prismatic... Um, shadow this is the first prismatic shadow I bought and I love these they are hella pigmented like whoa just one swipe and it's like this layered on top of rust is mind-blowing like, You can build them up, definitely. You can use them on their own. But I like blending them in together. Um, this I'm wearing today on the outer part of my eye. The next one, it's called Liquid Gold. For a very good reason. Because it literally looks like liquid gold. And this is what it looks like swatched underneath Fireball. They look amazing together. And this I've got today on the inner part of my eye. The last one is another prismatic shadow. And this one is Girl Talk. And this one, funnily enough, I don't usually use as an eyeshadow. But I'm wearing it today, in fact, under my brow, along the nose, and on top of my cheekbones. And it's very pigmented, but very buildable. And it's got a nice kind of peachy, pinky tinge to it. So it's not like one of those white um, highlighters which make you look like um, a ghost. But look at the shine on those. It's very difficult to show up here because it's so natural. Yet it shows as if you put something on as a highlight. So those are my favorite eye products of winter. On to lip favorites. What I'm wearing today is a pearly in third eye. I showed it in my um, Lime Crime Lip Swatch video. This is it, basically. It's a beautiful kind of burgundy metallic color. And here's a swatch of it on my hand. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. The first NYX product is this matte lipstick, which has definitely seen better days. Actually, I have no idea what happened to it. I think it kind of started melting and got splodged on the edges of the lipstick container. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful color. It's Aria. It's a perfect kind of berry, purpley, pinky color. And along the same lines, I've got Copenhagen, which is a soft matte lip cream. It's slightly darker, it's more like a grapey kind of purple color, and there it is. Next, the three MAC lipsticks, starting with the lightest one, it's Velvet Teddy. I didn't think I would like this so much, I mean, I got it to kind of what all the fuss is about, and I don't regret buying it, because it's an absolutely beautiful nude. I'm not much of a nude person, but this kind of nude, I can definitely do. One is Chile, um, which I bought from Madrid, and I had I saw it in the Mac in Slema, and the sales girl was like, "Yes, it's a beautiful color." I was like, "Yes, I know. Can I have it?" And she told me, "No, we're out of stock." So yeah, um, that was kind of a teardrop moment. But anyway, I found it in Madrid, and I obviously got it. This is one of those colors which was suit every kind of skin tone I think. On darker skin tones it would look more natural but on people like me who are um, paler it looks like a perfect blend of orange and brown and red and it's absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. This one is called Studded Kiss. I wore this one so much this winter. It's a kind of reddish purplish 
color and it's also very very nice it's long lasting all the mac matte lipsticks are very long lasting really pigmented so for the price they're worth it i would say definitely worth it i've got two clothing favorites for winter i've got these boots which i bought from new look um earlier this winter in like november i think it was um they look like they have the kind of broke kind of pattern on the front they're they look like chelsea boots also and they've got a tiny little heel which is a thick chunky heel which i like because i'm not so good with the balance and the next clothing favorite of the month is this lovely jacket it's also from new look not surprisingly it's a pretty kind of burnt rust color which is very similar to the color of chili i like and it's got this pretty hood with a kind of orange checked pattern on the inside and faux fur thing on the outside to keep you warm and cozy it's just the right length it's not very long but it's not short it's got a pocket on each side which is fairly wide and large so you can carry um, a good amount of things in them it's got a zip you zip it up and then it's got little buttons which fasten at the bottom and at the top right there and it's got these are my favorite things these are the thing that sold sold this jacket to me i guess these toggles i love these yeah so that's basically one of the reasons why i got this coat it's so good for winter because it's got a hood so when it rains you don't have to worry about carrying an umbrella it's not too bulky like um you're not gonna feel like you're drowning in it but at the same time it keeps you really warm my last favorites are the harry potter books yes i know they're old but i don't care they they are they will always be a favorite for me i am officially a potterhead i've even got the bookmark which i bought from platform and into quarters king's cross station i love harry potter i love jk rowling i love the way she writes the stories they're amazing i am at prison of azkaban at the moment so i've got a while to go but i i've lost count of how many times i've read these books but it's amazing no matter how many times you read them you always find something that you miss or you'd be reading it in hindsight and you'd say oh my god so that's why that happens in the end or that's why that person said that yeah they're they're a classic really and more people should read them and they should be read in schools if we had this in school i would have been so much happier because ah, they're amazing those were my winter favorites thanks for watching look out for more videos soon and hope you enjoyed bye